Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. And once more, it's time for another episode of the Puzzle Advent Calendar. I attended already last year and the year before. And, and for the ones who are, haven't seen these episodes or who are not familiar with it, the Puzzle Advent Calendar is a collaboration between puzzle creators and YouTubers. And we are together bringing you 24 unique puzzles throughout the month December. So from December 1st to December 24th, we will deliver to you 24 reviews of unique puzzles that have been especially created for this collaboration. If you're interested to see also other videos of this collaboration, I put your playlist in the video description where you can see what individual puzzle was reviewed on what day. So yesterday's puzzle was for example presented to you by the Puzzle Wanderer while tomorrow's puzzle is presented to you by K3DW Puzzles. To both of them I will put you also a link in the video description that you can check them out and follow each puzzle day by day. In my case, I'm gonna review this puzzle here called the Ice Box. It's made and designed by CoreMods. You probably remember those puzzles here called the Unstable Eggs. They are also made and designed by CoreMods. And you, the task is to just place them on a desk. Oh, this one is already solved, I think. Place them on a desk in a condition that they remain upright. And of course, they are not doing this in the initial condition. And you need to figure out a way to make them stand upright. Very interesting puzzle concept. I really like those ones. And I have six more, more by the way, in my stock here. Those six. Six different designs. And if you're interested to see also those puzzles, let me know in the comments. Then I can also put up a review of these six unstable eggs in one video, of course. Today, however, is about the icebox, a puzzle he created and which looks very much like a 4x4 Rubik's Cube, but it's actually not. Since it is a puzzle box, you somehow need to open it up. You can hear a lot of things going on in here and you need to somehow open the thing up and there is also something inside. And I hope I'm able to do it and figure out what's inside. It's 3D printed, as you can see. Very interesting choice of filament. Looks really like, like ice, yeah? So perfectly suitable for this review and this video. And after this border break, you're gonna see my first attempt or maybe the first attempt ever someone trying to open up the ice box. Yeah. So here we go. Interesting design, interesting concept. And I basically have no idea how difficult this puzzle is. We're gonna figure out for sure in this video. And at the end of the video, I'll give you my difficulty rating. So where to start? So as I, as I mentioned, if I shake it, it sounds really weird. A lot of sliders or pins or whatever, balls, I don't know. And this one, this part here is kind of loose already. So I would assume to start here. Oh, okay. What? Now it's stuck again. Oh, a pin came out of the puzzle. Hä? Hey. I'm confused, guys. Okay, okay. You can see here there is a steel ball and it's going in these holes. Okay, so it's going over here, over there. And every time I turn the puzzle around, I can move it one step forward until I reached here. And then I took out, was able to take out this pin. And now put it in here, maybe. Whoa. Oh, what, what, what's going on in here? here? It's blocked. So maybe really here. And um, this thing here, you can see this lost, this hole is blocked. But if I let this pin slide in, this is moving, it's like spring loaded. You can also see it if I uh, hear it, if I drop it in. Not sure if you can see it. Yeah, it's like bouncing back. This thing will probably free the, the, the second pin over here because there's something again behind of this slider. Maybe I just need to, no, no, nothing happens. Interesting. Okay, oh, 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 eh? What's, what is this? It's like a button here. Oh, this was secured by a magnet here in place. This one won't come out. Oh, no way. That's cool. There are sliders. Every, basically, everything is sliding here on this puzzle. But how? Ah, here. Ooh. Okay. When someone need to shuffle them get this pin somewhere else to activate the mechanism yeah 
Ah! Oh man, that's so cool. Understood what happened here? So there is a slider in here. And this hole is closed. And when I slide this one over and flip these around, this pin goes into the slider at one point. And then I can slide the slider, which is beneath here, aside, and open this hole up. Give me that pin. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, here we go. The second pin. Okay, what, what should I do with all those pins? I have no... Ah, ah, okay, okay. I got the point, I think. Oh. Um... Need to put it probably in here. Need to put another one in here. And one more. And then I can push this down and release another uh, whatever it is. So where is another pin? I need another pin, I think. And here is another one. Okay, let me let me check this out. This one's also closed. Oh yeah! This was also held in place again with a magnet. I think I need to get this thing out. And there is something in here you can see. Right now blocked. Maybe I can use the magnet here. No? Yeah, I, I really like that concept. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. But uh, to get here, I need one more, okay? I need one more pin and then I can push it down, I think. And this pin is probably in here. There is a slider in there. If I look in the side of this gap here, I can see that there is a pin inside. Not sure if you can see this. Here. There is a pin. It looks like these two halves here can be separated somehow. You know, like that. This is one piece, and then this is one piece, and this is one piece. Either I don't get the trick or something is stuck. Probably another ingenious trick here. Um, hmm. Can I maybe move further edges? Oh! Oh! One more. Maybe even, even more. Oh! Ah, oh, okay, it's a sequence, okay. Okay. And now it's, oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, that, that was cool, okay. Took me some time, but that was cool. The icebox, man. I'm amazed by this puzzle. I'm really amazed by this puzzle. So, here we go now. Pin number one, pin number two, pin number three, and you see? Now I can push it and release another fourth pin. What should I do with all those pins? And now? <laughs> What's going on? Woo! So I'm sure the pins are locked something. Yeah, probably the core piece here. I, I don't know. But how to get it out? I mean, one was here. So here, here, here and here and i'm very sure this is not a coincidence nothing in here just try it again oh uh oh oh okay here whoo here it came out again oh oh huh <laughs> okay 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 i got it ah oh, i tried to twist it and it's it was pretty cool that this puzzle or the thing was um not to twist or to shift or somehow but you, you just needed a slight 
bump to come <laughs> to come out and I only I only discovered this because the pin was stuck and I couldn't get it out again probably because this already moved that is probably the solution of the icebox a pretty cool puzzle uh, in the end I was really surprised how complex this thing was well done core mods I will also put your link to his Etsy shop by the way in the video description if you would like to check out maybe this puzzle in the future if it will be made depending on your feedback probably or an unstable egg whatever else you can find over there so again very creative and interesting puzzle i think regarding difficulty i would rate this with a level three i will get it back together now off camera and then show you step by step how this thing is solved so here we go back together and now explain you in detail again how you get the four pins and then open up the puzzle so first we start with the one that's Easy, the easiest to discover it's this slider here so this is pretty straightforward you get it in place and then you can get out the pin this is the first pin next we push in this button here there comes a piece out of the back held in place by a magnet now if you push this back you are able to shift these sliders until you get the right configuration with this slider being up here and then opening up this hole, getting the pin out. Looks so easy when you do it the second time. Pretty much straightforward. <laughs> Next one, the third pin, is this amazing mechanism here, where you pull this one out, step by step, to reveal the last pin. And the fourth one is kept beneath here. So you need to put in all these three pins up here. One, two, three push this down and then you get the fourth pin here we go and oh, as soon as you reveal it and this is probably what is intended as soon as this one comes out it will immediately drop out and reveal the diamonds didn't happen before maybe it was somehow stuck but made it a little bit trickier, so also not a bad alternative. So that's it about the icebox. I hope you liked this review. If yes, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment below what you liked the most on this video and on this puzzle. Which one was your favorite step to solve it? And also leave a comment for Cormods to let him know what you think about this puzzle and about his design. Very creative from my point of view. I hope you liked this advent calendar episode. If yes, check out the other episodes and the playlist. And that's it for today. Until next time. Keep on puzzling!